What's up guys, 1UP James here. Today we're looking at Mighty Alphid on the Xbox Series X. Mighty Alphid is a 2D action platformer developed by Cascadia Games who have developed similar games such as Moon Raider. With games like Moon Raider, you have a good idea of what to expect here. You'll play as Alphid, who has set out to stop the villainous Ladybug from wrecking the town of Victoria with her horde of monsters. Mighty Alfred doesn't really do a lot to build on the story. You are given a very brief introduction about current events and then set loose into the world to destroy evil. But being the small budget title that it is, the small premise that gives you the intent of the mission is enough to provide motivation for the task at hand. Mighty Alfred is set across six stages each with its own boss. The stages vary in aesthetic although I'm not actually sure what most of them were. Some kind of structure by a mountain or underground water filled caverns that are in no specific location other than underground. The stages do vary in length with some being vertical and some more horizontal. As you transverse each stage you will find many gems to collect which is used to fuel your weapons upgrades and ability to fly. You do have a meter in the top left corner showing your amount of gem power available. But as long as you don't run around holding down the trigger, you should never really run out of power. And your weapon upgrades are basically more of a spread shot than a power or a range upgrade. The gunplay is nothing too crazy, but there is accurate aiming and good hit detection. The double jump and platforming felt very solid. But we ran into yet another game where you cannot see the platforms and other areas below you. Having to guess where to try and land leads to several deaths or at least unnecessary damage. Also, you can't fall through to other platforms, not even ladders. You have to do this stupid little shuffle down the steps which is just annoying. Once you learn the layout of the stages and the enemy position, this won't be as much of a problem but by then you have already beat the stage. Your one main objective in Mighty Alfred is to rescue the civilians who have been taken hostage. The stages vary and could contain five to eight hostages. There isn't much difficulty in finding each hostage. It's just a matter of searching each stage thoroughly. And they can be rescued by simply shooting the infection off of them, shooting cages to open them, or just killing every enemy surrounding them. The game is pretty easy from start to finish. Most of the enemies have no kind of projectile weapon and most of them move at a slow enough pace that dodging attacks or avoiding them altogether isn't really much of a challenge. And between the six bosses I only died one time and it was completely my fault. With more slow movement and easily predictable movement patterns the bosses are not much of a challenge at all. Mighty Alfred has 12 achievements on the Xbox Series X. 6 for each stage and 6 for each boss, making for a quick 1000 point addition to your gamer score. I had completed all 11 achievements in about an hour and a half. I did completely search out each stage, so I did prolong it by a few minutes. Mighty Alfred costs $4.99 on the Xbox Series X. The Nintendo Switch has many indie games released weekly, but the Xbox, not so much. So, if you're looking for a cheap, fun, 2D platformer to kill some time with, I think Mighty Alfred is a decent pickup. Just note that it has a very short running time. Well guys, that's a quick look at Mighty Alfred on the Xbox Series X. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful in any way, hit the like button. It helps out a lot. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time guys. Later.